Great to see you all again. Can we do something fun, Bucks? <laughs> mm hmm Yes, of course. Today, we're going to take a look at astronauts. Oh, great. That's what I'd like to be one day. What do you have to be able to do, Bucks? Well, shall we have a look? We're going to travel to space together in our very own rocket. Yeah, we're going into space! Why don't we start with a fun guessing game again? You can see three people wearing a special sort of suit. But which one of the three is an astronaut? Hmm. The yellow helmet looks good, but I think I can see water. Oh, it's a diver, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not an astronaut? No. And the one in the orange suit looks more like a firefighter. A firefighter? So that's not an astronaut either. Hmm. Then it must be the one in the white suit in the middle. You are absolutely right. That one is the astronaut. What a great space suit. I want one too. Then you should become an astronaut. Yes, I want to be an astronaut. Then I can wear a space suit just like that and go to work in a rocket. Woo! You have to have a lot of training to become an astronaut. Huh? Why are they doing that? Well, you have to be really fit, so it's a way of making them strong and agile. Whoa, really exciting! You also have to be very clever to be an astronaut. And good at repairing things. Mm-hmm, you're right. Huh? What's that? Is the astronaut inside it? Oh, oh! It's spinning around! I would get dizzy! That's how you get used to being under different pressures and not get dizzy. A rocket goes very fast after liftoff, and you can really feel it in your body. Like in a roller coaster! A bit like that, but it's much stronger. And they have to be able to work at the same time. Whoa, that's hard. And where do you think they practice? I don't know, Box. Well, have a look. Hmm? Huh? Whoa. What? Underwater? Astronauts do a lot of training underwater. You can't breathe underwater, and you float, like in space. So it's a good place to start practicing what it's like in space. Wow. Yes, they've got their spacesuits on. I think they're ready for liftoff. Are they going in a rocket? Yes, of course. Let's have a look. Oh, the countdown has started. Exciting. Yeah, the countdown is always really exciting. Four, Four three, three, two, two one. one.
Now you can guess where the astronauts are going. To the moon! No, it doesn't look like the moon. No, it's not. Hmm. It looks more like a machine. Mm. <sighs> or a satellite. No, it's not a satellite. But it is something that is man-made and that floats in space. Uh, a robot? Or is it a... Oh, I don't know. Shall I tell you? It is the International Space Station. Oh, yes! The International Space Station. That's right. America, Russia, Japan, Europe and Canada came together to build it. And astronauts from many different countries can work here. So, there are people inside? Yes, people work in those long tube shapes. So, does it give you an idea of the size of the space station? It's very big! Wow! That's big! <laughs> it's a long way to fly to get to your work. Ah, yes. And that's why they often stay there for half a year. Look, the new astronauts are arriving in the International Space Station. They're so happy! Yeah, they're just happy to be there after their exciting rocket journey. <laughs> Look, they're floating! They're floating! Yes, there's no gravity in space, so you can float there. And I've got another quiz for you. Oh, great! What do you think the astronauts are going to do in the International Space Station? Are they going to have a good look at Earth and the weather? Research what it's like to be weightless? Or are they researching plants? Um... Hmm. Um... Oh, I don't know. Surprise! They are all the right answer. They do lots of different research in the International Space Station. Oh! <laughs> For example, studying the weather on Earth, various materials, plants, medicines, and weightlessness. I like floating. <laughs> yes, everything is different. Floating into his mouth. Floating along. <laughs> Whoa, look! A somersault! And it's very interesting to see how things behave when there is no gravity. There is a lot to study and research. Yes, there are wires everywhere from all their equipment. Hey, look! They are growing lettuce! Yes, they are also studying how plants grow without gravity. And then they can eat it! <laughs> Is it time to go back to Earth? Yes, I'm getting hungry. For bananas! But we'll come back to space soon, won't we, Box? Yes, of course. We'll come back again soon. Bye-bye! Goodbye. Bye, space. See you soon. <laughs> Did you like it too, Peppa? Yes! That was a great journey through space. And do you remember all the things you learned? Um... Uh, ooh! If you want to be an astronaut, you have to train a lot. You have to practice in machines and underwater. These astronauts are flying together in a rocket. Astronauts fly to space station so they can work there. 
There is no gravity in space, so everything floats. That's why it's very interesting to do lots of research there. Woohoo! Well, wasn't that a great journey? Yes, and next time we'll go there, or there, or there. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. See you all next time. Goodbye. Bye, Toby. Bye, Pepper. Bye, Box the Bear.